Being raised in the household by my grandparents, I've learned one thing, that old people are stuck in their ways, and you cannot <laughs> change their mind. That's okay. what you and Max are today. Y'all stuck in y'all ways, and y'all some haters. Because if I go argue with my grandfather and some of his friends, when they used to talk, <laughs> God rest their soul, it used to be Kareem, Will, Bill Russell. Jordan was never in the conversation. So move down 10 years later. Now I'm talking to you, Stephen A. and Max. And all of a sudden, it's Jordan. So y'all would never give the proper, uh, uh, proper props to the younger generation because y'all are haters. Michael Jordan and LeBron James are sitting at the same dinner table. If Michael yeah. Jordan order a ribeye, LeBron James is going to order a ribeye with a bone in. So what you're talking about right now, it doesn't make sense to me. It's no gap. Both of these guys, you could pick, you could close your eyes and say, just pick one. That resume is equal. It's, it matches up. You could close your eyes and pick one, and you won't be wrong. When you look at LeBron James, Stephen A., I heard you talking about Oh, Michael Jordan, he had a harder path. Excuse me. Last time I checked, LeBron had one of the greatest NBA championships of all time. Coming down back from 3-1. Oh, don't get me started with that. And 19 he did? In the Golden State Warriors. He did. And let me finish. That's you let me finish. I let you go on and ramble for about 10 minutes. You let me finish. <laughs> and then let's talk about the get Weak, Eastern, the weak Eastern Conference. The Weak Eastern Conference. Oh, LeBron James, yeah, he was in the Weak East. Now he moved over there to the West with Max, your boy, Kawhi Leonard, that you said was better than LeBron, that couldn't close this thinking. Denver Nugget team out that was up 3-1. LeBron had to show you, Max, how to do it, and he did it in great fashion. 38, 14, and 10. And guess what? Stephen A., I heard you in the first round. You better watch out for Dame Dollar. And Dame Dollar is a bad boy. Gentleman sweet. Second round, these Rockets, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, Mike D'Antoni, this system, two MVPs, gentleman sweet. The Denver Nuggets, oh, they love being down 3-1. Yeah, to the Clippers they do, not to the Lakers. Another gentleman sweep. Now he's moving in. You talk about a kid from Akron, but guess what? He resides in the NBA Finals. That's where his home at because he spent more than 58% in there. That's where he lives at. And by the way, it's only one other player, one other player in NBA history mm -hmm. that have sustained this level of greatness for this period of time, and that was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Here it is almost two decades later, and we're still talking about well, LeBron James. So well, first of all, carry on. Well, I will carry on. First of all, let's let's get a couple of things straight here. Number one, LeBron James saying that he's on a Mount Rushmore of basketball is not an insult. Your definition of hater is entirely different than mine. All I said is that he'll never get the nod over Michael Jordan by me. That doesn't mean that he doesn't deserve to be on the Mount Rushmore in basketball. And if you consider that haterism, then that makes you nothing short of a troll. <laughs> Basically, somebody that wants to sit up there and say, well, you know what? Oh, no. my goodness. LeBron is being victimized because we've said he might be number two all time. I mean, stop the presses. We just totally disrespect them by saying such a thing. That's number one. Number two, it is undeniable that the road traveled through the Eastern Conference was highly questionable for many years. Number three, that's, that, that point is accentuated with him going to Miami to join D-Wade and Chris Bosh because that definitely gave them the bomb squad. Number four, don't get me started because this is where Max and I jump off the rails, Kentra Perkins. Don't get me started with that damn stimulus package. That damn stimulus package that, my, that LeBron James was handed when they came Stop. back from 3-1. Listen, hold, hold, wait a minute. Let me remind the audience and I'll let y'all go. Let me remind the audience of this. Golden State goes up 3-1 by winning game four in Cleveland. Draymond Green gets that bogus suspension because he kicked his leg up. LeBron After, goaded hold, him. Hold on, hold on. After LeBron slammed him to the court, to the floor, when, they, when he suspended for that game five, Andrew Bogut and Andre Iguodala, who was considered 
especially at that time to be one of the elite defenders. Still is. Okay, and still is to some degree in crunch time anyway. He got – both of them got hurt that game, and so all of that happened. And that's why I called it a stimulus package given to LeBron and Cleveland by the NBA, that 3-1. Let's not forget all of that. These are facts look, here. Look, let me just say something real quick, Perk, before we get like out of here. I'm not, I'm not hate hating on LeBron. I think he's clearly number two. I think if he wins the finals number this two year, three. he passes Kareem, right? Because Kareem spent those years in college. We're just talking about the pros. I'm remembering Jordan's prime. I'm comparing their primes. LeBron's prime is longer. Jordan's prime is higher. Not the, only that season that I mentioned when he came back and beat the 60-game prime Shaq and Penny and Horace Grant. Magic swept them. They'd gone to the finals the year before. He beat a 64-win Seattle team. His last two championships came against Carl Malone, John Stockton, with a great coach and Hornacek. On that team, three great players and a great coach, 60-win teams. Never went seven games. You you're, right. Say, you're right. Oh, did, Kurt, you're right. You're right. LeBron you, has had to slay the monster. That's something Michael Jordan never had did, to do because you, Michael Jordan was did, the monster. You, he was the monster. So, so you mean to tell me, so you, you, did you just bring up Jeff Hornacek? Did you have the audacity to bring up Jeff Horn to say? As a That's third like best player on a team? Dan. Dan As a third best player you, on a team? You mean, uh, no, no, come. You know, do you do you know what LeBron James would have did to Jeff Hornacek and Thunder Dan, Malone, Dan Marley? Stockton, do you know what it would have been? It would have been barbecue chicken and smother ribs. Don't come chunking no Jeff Hornacek name out there like that. How many that times did Jordan lose when in the LeBron finals? LeBron James per was going against. Oh, my God, Max. You lost me with the Jeff Hornacek. Hold on, hold you on, might as well should have said Dan You Martin. can give him the loss, the first loss in the finals. They had no business being in the finals. That's credit to LeBron. The last two losses to the, war, to the Warriors, there's no way he was going to beat them. No disrespect to LeBron at all. That was an impossible to beat Warriors team. LeBron did good just by right. getting there. I agree. But what about the loss to Listen. Dallas? What about the second, the loss to San Antonio in his uh. last year in Miami? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.